Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia and on today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. This is my first makeup haul. It will be mainly on Sephora products. I am wearing what I'm going to be showing you today too. If you guys are interested in, interested in a makeup tutorial or a skincare uh, tutorial, please leave in the comments down below if you guys want to see that type of video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click that red subscribe button down there and give this video a thumbs up. I'm aiming for 50 thumbs up, 50 likes. And if you are interested in family vlogs, I do have one as well. Just go down below in the description box and I will leave a link there so you guys can check out that vlog channel. So let's get right into the makeup products. I'll start off with the uh, makeup tools that I use to apply this makeup. And this is, um, this is uh, about, I'm not sure how much I spent on all of this, but I'm guessing 300, maybe more. I don't know. I started from scratch as well. Like I didn't, I didn't have anything. Well, I did have stuff and then it expired, so I couldn't use it anymore. So I ended up getting new tools. Uh, what I had before was makeup that wasn't really working with my face because I do have a dry skin tone. So I was using brushes and they weren't really working out for me and it was just moving makeup everywhere and just wasn't blending. So you know what happens when your makeup doesn't blend? You buy a beauty blender. So I got my beauty blender from Sephora. It was about $26 and I got the original. And then I trying, tried out this silicone beauty blender. I got this on sale. It was only a dollar. Like, I was just amazed how well this puts on makeup. I got this one from Showcase Store. It was on sale for a dollar, like I said, and it was originally, originally 10 bucks. I don't think I would have bought it for 10 bucks, but I do like the product. It pretty much just pats on the makeup to your face and then I'm, I just go over it with this beauty blender and it makes it like a world of a difference but it made flawless makeup today I usually use this product here the makeup forever HD but I got a sample from Sephora the other day when I bought my beauty blender and they gave me this here which is NARS and they gave me a light foundation the color and light and it just worked wonder for my face. Like it just applied better. I'm not sure like what I did different this time. Like I did the same skincare um, routine and somehow it just applied better. So I think it was maybe the makeup that was not setting into my skin well enough. But I will try to use this one again on my face uh, to see if it will do the same results as what happened with this one. And I'm not sure the price difference too. I know this is like 40 three dollars at Sephora and I'm not sure how much the NARS is so I gotta look into that but I, I I do love this one it's very good coverage but I found that the NARS gave more coverage so I might buy this bottle I'm not sure yet but yeah so on to the next product oh before the foundation I would I this here I tried several different kind of primers and this one just seemed to work better with my face. So I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and in the color Light. And then typically after I apply my um, skincare routine and then the primer and then the foundation, I put on this concealer here. So it's a Bye Bye Under Eye Elimination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. And I usually just apply it to like this part of my eye and then like cause I don't know how to like because it's a squeezing tube instead of like drawing on your face I don't really know how to apply it that well so what I just do is I pretty much just squeeze and do an outside line and then I get uh, my beauty blender or the silicone uh, blender and I'll just pat it and that seemed to work today what do you guys do with your um, silicone or beauty blender or brush when you guys use this type of concealer I know it's supposed to put on your finger and then do this, but I want to avoid using my fingers at all costs with dry skin. Um, and then typically after I put the concealer, I'll do my eyebrows. And I use this eyebrow um, pencil, I guess you would call it. 
and the kind it is is nude stick you can see the brand it's very fade on there Let's see if i can show you no not gonna show it's too fade so this is an eyebrow stencil pencil and gel and i like it i'm wearing it right now as you can see it tends to not be too dark or bold and shapes very well and it has two sides so on the other side is a gel so i stopped using this because i didn't really see what the benefit of it was like i guess just to hold your brows in place but i don't know why they just draw them on and they stick to me so that's uh, what I do after the concealer and then after the eyebrows uh, sometimes I move on to eye makeup I don't really have eye makeup at the moment if I did I would do my eyes but right now I just use an eyeshadow palette, palette from my mom and it was never used I don't know can you share your eyeshadow palettes because I know a lot of pe people say that you can't share certain makeup products like one being your lipstick or eyeliner just certain things like what is your opinion on that leave down in the comments down below what you guys think of sharing makeup products any kind of product okay so this is a mineral eye color from Mary Kay and it's hazelnut and it's supposed to be a highlight or you can use it underneath your eyelid eyelids as eyeshadow so i like this color show you the color it's that so that's that um i recently bought this um powder here it's a banana um shade i don't know much about powder and it's a um setting powder i believe but it's from morphe and this was also a dollar sale at the showcase store so i'm like okay i'll try it but I've never used this type of stuff before. I don't even know like how to use it. <laughs> but I don't think I'll be using it because I don't think I need it. I have a setting spray instead of using this. So it's just something that I wanted to try out but didn't end up using it. Alright and on to the lips. I used my Eagles uh, lip balm to prep my lips. I don't really use a primer for lip, a lip primer. I don't, I don't see how it's needed. I'm using this. I'm softening my lips. Drink a bunch of water. I don't need a lip primer. I guess the lipstick would stay on longer, but yeah, never does because I'm always drinking or eating. I don't know buy the lipstick that like stays on without uh, smear or kisses or anything like that. So I do have a few colors of lipsticks, but I'm just going to show you one here. Uh, it's like a, the color would be like a light pink, I guess. I'm wearing it right now. If you can't really see it, then I'm wearing it. Let me just redo this. There we go. You can kind of see it more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get the color. I'll do a swatch it on me. I am terrible at these swatches. There. <laughs> so that's the color. I'm very white. <laughs> okay. So that is my favorite color at the moment, and this is from Burt's Bees. So I'm loving their products. It's, night, it's very moisturizing, and it's very smooth on your lips. So I love it. And then another one, um, it's kind of molded out, but this is like my dark color, uh, Makeup Forever. It was like a sample from Sephora. They gave me pretty well a lot for a sample. <laughs> and I sometimes use that for like a darker shade color. Okay, let's show you a little swatch it <laughs> for that one. So his major difference is that one right there. So I sometimes use that if I want a bolder look, but this is this lip color right here is just like a everyday look kind of um, lipstick for me. Um, This here is my brush to apply my, my lip. Um, lip uh what do you call this my lipstick this is a brush to apply my lipstick and i also align like line it's like a liner as well it acts as a liner and i found that trick from sephora um uh employee there so i'm liking that the brush is a pro lip brush and it's number 85 
So that's purchased from Sephora. I'm still on the hunt for a good mascara. So right now I'm just using this Artistry Signature Eyes Length and Definition. That's what I'm using for my eyes and I have it on right now. And last product I believe, oh second last product, is this uh, Fine Line um, Ultra Thin Makeup Product from Sephora which is waterproof as well and that's eyeliner. I'm not currently wearing it now like the last month I was trying to um, get a wing but I just think it takes way too much time but the more you do it the better it is I find but yeah so that's that product um, I'll show you this this is my glam glow glow setter makeup spray and I got this from Sephora as well and I find it works amazing something I like about it the most is that all the stuff in it it says it has makeup perfecter makeup for fresh air, hydrator, energizer, and a glow. And it says it has a 3D soft mist, so I think that's pretty cool, like right there. And you spray your face, and then it just gets like everywhere. Like I go, shush, shush, shush. I'll show you what the bottle looks like. You get quite a bit in here too, and you're not really using that much each time you spray it. So this bottle should probably last you six months to a year. And it says it lasts like 24 months, so it lasts for two years. But it's, I don't know if it will last me two years. I've used about that much out of the whole bottle in three months, I believe. So this is how much you get. Pretty, I think it was up to the top when I bought it. But I'm loving it. And you just spray, spray, spray. And it works like magic. Makes your skin nice and glowy. Like if you have dry skin and then you're you're all worried that your skin's patchy and it's not smooth into your skin, then you use this and it's just a game changer. It's seriously a game changer. Uh, I just want to go over some of the makeup products that I use to remove my makeup. And that's this here. These are from Shoppers Drum Mark. This Bioderm here. Now this is just a face makeup uh, remover and I like how it's the um, face and eyes but it only works really for your face I find. So I end up buying this Marcel Gentle Makeup Remover for Sensitive Eyes. So this will remove amazingly for your eyeshadow or your mascara or your eyeliner. So been loving this product as well. I think this was about 10 bucks at uh, Shopper Denmark and this is a little more pricier but it lasted me quite a long time. This is it's supposed to last nine months but I kind of went in between doing makeup and not doing makeup just trying to figure out what works with my skin what didn't but I bought this probably about um two weeks ago and I've used quite a bit but I've been kind of replacing this one um and not using this one because it seems to remove all my makeup and this one's more expensive so let me know what your makeup remover stuff you use is in the comments down below so that it wraps up this makeup haul for 2018 i'm interested in what you guys thought so leave down in the comments down below any comments and give this video a big thumbs up in for 50 likes and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys are interested in lifestyle, motherhood, or food videos. I post every Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh, thank you so much for um, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I'm holding that. <laughs> okay. Um, I do have a highlight. I don't know if this camera's crooked. Does it look crooked? Crooked. Who struggles with their tripod and trying to make their camera crooked? I mean, not crooked. Ugh, me. Follow me on my social media accounts at Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, which is located on the left side of this end screen. Also, hit the subscribe button to this channel and check out my vlogging channel. I do post on this channel on Wednesdays and Fridays on motherhood, food, and lifestyle. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks. Bye.